He was behind bars for robbery, kidnapping, and drug charges, but he ran off when no one was looking. And tonight, the hunt continues for Nathan Pierce. He escaped from the Scott County Detention Center early yesterday morning. Kristen Candy is live in Georgetown with our top story at 5. Kristen? Sam, we talked to business owners along the square today. They're all making sure to bolt their doors shut tonight because that inmate is still on the loose. Several shops downtown were open Monday, hoping to attract 4th of July weekend shoppers. Those store owners were a little surprised to hear about an inmate escaping just a few blocks away. Actually, when I'm at home, I'm nervous, but I feel protected by the police here, so I really don't feel that nervous, actually. Joanne Sharp owns the Georgetown Antique Mall. She's now on the lookout for this inmate, Nathan Pierce. Pierce was behind bars for robbery, kidnapping, and drug charges. Police say back in December 2009, Pierce crawled into the back of a woman's car at this gas station. When she got back inside, he pulled a gun on her and demanded cash. I don't feel that they would think that we would have enough money to make them come in unless they thought they could hide here, which would also make me nervous at night to be sure we lock up well. Sharp's now taking extra precautions to lock up the store. Thankful police are close to her business. I feel like if we call them, they come, but I don't know if they're around that close, but when we call them, they come. And police told us that Pierce recently shaved his beard, so the video we have of him may look a little different than what he looks like now. For now, we're live in Georgetown. Kristen Kennedy, WKYT 27 News First. And if you see Nathan Pierce, you're asked to call Georgetown police immediately.